Sunday School. We're really excited to share this time with you. Um, even though this is different to our usual Sunday services, I'm sure we can still have some fun, right? I'm Sharon and this is... Brooke. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. well, oh, hi Sharon. Hi kids. Sorry, I was just reading um, a really interesting story. It's a story about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday? What's yeah. that? Um, Palm Sunday is the Sunday that comes before Easter. Something pretty cool happened to Jesus. Maybe we should have a read. <laughs> this is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. <laughs> if anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it, and we'll return it soon. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said, and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! And they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into tears. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before. Hey, that was a pretty cool video. The people were so excited that Jesus was coming. It would have been so cool to be there. Yeah, in fact, hundreds of years beforehand, some prophets had said that this was going to happen. But why is this whole story, why is the whole Sunday named after it? Well, Palm Sunday is important because it was when many people recognized and honored Jesus as a king. The people at that time were waiting for a king to save them from some mean Romans, but Jesus came instead to save them from their sins. And that includes you and me. Wow, and that's why we celebrate Easter, right? Right. what I was reading earlier. So this is found in Matthew in the Bible, chapter 21, verse 9. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Well, so let's read it together and join with us this time. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. See if you can remember this verse for next week. So here's an activity you can do at home to help us remember the story. All you will need is green paper, some scissors, some glue or sticky tape, a pencil and a popsicle stick. 
So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hand and you're gonna trace your hand with your texture or pencil. You might need to ask your parents to help you with this. So you want four hands, but you can do more if you want to. So next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hands and you're gonna put the palms, which are the bottom parts of these hands, and you're gonna glue them together like this to make a bit of a palm tree. Like this. Then you take two popsicle sticks and you stick them like this. Let it dry for a little while before you write on it. So to finish off, you or your parent can write Hosanna down the middle. Like that. Like and then you're done. Thank you for joining us for Kids Church today. We hope you enjoyed yourself and learned something new. Make sure you practice the memory verse at home. So in summary today, we learned about how people honor Jesus before Easter. What is the way we can honor Jesus now? That's a good question, Sharon. Well, I think a good way to honor Jesus is to honor our parents and obey them. It can be really tricky right now because we're all stuck at home. But remember, God is looking after you and we're all in this together. Parents, we have started a new Facebook group for families at our church. You can check it out here. Make sure you join so that we can all stay connected and you can access more activities online. Kids, you can also post your finished craft activity as well. Make sure you check with your parents first. That's all for today, guys. Join us on Good Friday for our next lesson. We'll see you then. See ya.